Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, early morning here at the farm and we took care of the animals already this morning and uh, we got a lot going on today. So we'll give you a little peek. We'll see what Caroline's up to. Caroline's in the store packing orders. So uh, we get orders throughout the week. We pack a few times a week. And, um, and so that's today's a pack day. So we'll notify all the customers and let them know uh, the order's packed and, and we'll either uh, take it out for home delivery uh, we'll ship it or we will have it here for them to pick up this weekend um, so, so thanks for all the orders. We're uh, trying to keep up uh, definitely uh, sold out of some stuff recently, but um, uh, I think in the next week or so uh, we'll uh, have a really much more consistent uh, Much more consistent supply. So Ethan's in here. Uh, me and Ethan are Tearing down this chicken tractor. So this is what we put broilers in so it's floorless um so you can see in there floorless so grass dirt all the good stuff this gets moved every single day it gets about 100 birds in it it's um i think it's like 12 foot by 20 foot something like that um it's got the red things are waters uh, so water comes down and it just fills up a little bit there and that way it stays nice and clean it stays off the ground and uh, we don't have to pick them up to move it um, every day and then it'll get um, the sides there are for feed so we can open it from the outside That's one of the things we're doing for replacing The wood doors that were on here um, and just putting uh, like it's pretty thick rubber down here And that way we can flip it up and fill it and the birds eat from the I don't know if I can it, The birds eat from the inside um, So they have a little trough there. So uh, pretty neat system. Uh, we can just hook up and pull every uh, morning with the tractor. So we're in the shop, Ethan and I are getting that done today. Uh, so we're gonna put a, this used to have a um, like cloth roof on it, um, deteriorating, no good. So we're gonna do a metal roof. Um, it had a shade, we had to have a shade cloth on it um, before because of the, um, because of just cloth and too much sunlight for those birds too hot. Uh, but now with the metal roof, we won't have that issue. <laughs> So metal roof and uh, so we have we have two of these we're gonna build two more um, so uh, we'll keep uh, keep you updated today all right so it's been a while sorry if we uh, didn't do a good job of video and everything today but chicken tractor oh that's way too close chicken tractor is almost done we uh, Ethan's been working on it most of the day we've been running around but uh, so the the ram had to get service today at Dodge and uh, the reef, the reefer, we call the reefer, it's a refrigerator truck, had to get serviced as well. So um, we've been running around picking those up, taking them around. But um, so this now has metal. So you can see, like I said earlier, floorless feeders, waters all hang, or uh, feeders on the side. Uh, we hang grit and stuff like that or whatever we need in there, depending on what kind of animals, but usually broilers. So all metal now here's the sides we flip up and feed and uh so this thing will be pretty cool i'm gonna put some rubber on the bottom of it i'll show you that uh so the predators can't get on the ends so have a little gap there and then uh it'll be ready to head out to the pasture and then we'll take the broilers out of the brooder house and put them out the pasture for the season so dylan's over here uh unboxing this gen y Genie. Genie, oh my bad. Who is that? It's a video. Why are you videoing? Because we're videoing for the song. Oh. Um, I forgot to tell Dylan. So uh, we're unboxing this thing. So this ram, the hitch sits way too high. So uh, got to drop it like a seven and a half inch drop. So um, it's really nice having the shop, especially when weather like this. So we'll, uh, We'll get this rubber on this uh, chicken tractor and then we'll be able to pull this one out and put a new one in. All right, guys, so rubber mats are on. So what we do here, these are just rubber mats from um, like Home Depot or har hardware store or wherever. And they're um, they're four foot by six foot mats and we just strip them down into one foot sections, put a piece of uh, batten on here, screw it in. And this is designed, oops, sorry. This is designed to flip in and out depending, because you can pull this this unit from both directions so um, so that 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 mat will flip in and out depending on what direction you're pulling from it's on both ends and uh it's a foot long and that way the predators can't get in there to get to the animals we've been running those for probably four years now we've never had a problem so uh whatever reason they don't mess with it so fox 
maybe coyote, definitely possum, raccoon. They don't mess with it. So uh, it's, it's nice if you have a gap along a stretch because you're pulling something, um, you can um, you can put that down there. So, all right, this one's done. New roof, uh, new rubber, uh, new covers for the feeders that we're trying, this metal. Uh, it'll, that'll, that'll pin up that'll pin up on the roof there uh, so it can, it'll hold itself open while we feed. Um, and uh, so we're going to get this thing out of the shop and, um, and pull the next one in. All right, so we got all the birds out of the brewer house there, and we got them on the tractor. We use these crates, they work really well. Uh, 25 in each crate, so we got to uh, be able to put them up easy once we get out to the field. So we'll show you uh, putting them in the chicken tractors, show you how we do it, and we'll show you doing them. Birds out here. Ethan's uh, putting some uh, bungees on these uh, these doors that we're trying out new this year. So they just flip up real easy to uh, put the feed in there. You can see where where we feed in there, um, and the birds can grab it from the inside. This is the newer this is the newer version here. This chicken tractor, um, 12 by 20, uh, and we have a hundred. A little over 100 birds in here, 125. Um, you can see that drink able to drink out of the waters there, so you just gotta check to make sure they can reach those. And um, you know we don't want them too low where they can get up on them, but just so they can reach them. Um, and they got the feed in the side and uh, grass, fresh air, sunlight, good to go. So, so the setup here is coming off of a hydrant. So we have hydrants throughout the throughout the farm. Um, every I don't know 400 feet or so. So we come off with a couple hundred feet. We um we used to not really worry much about the hose, but now on anything that has automatic water, where it's on throughout the day, um, we buy uh, farm contractor heavy duty expensive hose. I think it's three quarter inch. It's it's well worth the investment because it lasts and um, you're not gonna have it popping off in hot weather. Um, I'll show you the regulators on on the chicken tractors as well. They're really important. Uh, because those little black hoses, they need to de you need to bring the pressure down for those little black hoses, especially when it gets real hot out. So we just have a Y here, and um, the hose is coming from a hydrant. We Y off when we get close to chicken tractors here, um, so we don't have two hoses coming from a, from a, a real distance. Um, and then when we get up here, uh, just going in, this is a quick connect, so we move them every day. We can just disconnect them real quick. Um, this is quick connect there. Here's the regulator that brings the pressure down. You can adjust that right here. Uh, we have a little gauge. Uh, we don't really use those anymore. We, we looked at them initially, um, but now we know. And then it just goes up and goes down into those, those three bell waters in there in each one. So that's plenty for 125 birds. We're building two more of these chicken tractors. This, this year we're doing batches of 400. Um, so this is the first batch is only 250 just to get our feet wet for the season see what's going on So they're out. We'll move them. They get moved one section every day um, And uh, so we'll we'll show that as we go But uh, that'll, that's that's enough for today We gotta get the brooder house cleaned out and ready for another batch coming on Monday